Huge, huge update regarding season 21. What up, Axie fam? A tripod situation's not the greatest, okay? That's not crooked. Stop it. Stop asking me. <laughs> Philip Law, we're currently discussing whether to move forward with season 21 of version 2. This has been brought up by a few community members and we want to get some more feedback. Allowing V2 to run as is without doing a full season 21 will allow us to focus more on Origin and making Origin as good as possible. What he's saying is there would be no season 21 pre-patch. There would be no season 21 rewards. There would be no end of season 20 post season. We wanna make sure pro players are focused on giving us feedback on Origin so they can improve the competitive aspects. AXS rewards planned for season 21 would roll into Origin rewards once we implement the AXS reward system into its first season. And after there's a lot of feedback, I'm not gonna go into it. Update, sounds pretty unanimous that everyone thinks we should X season 21 to focus on origin. Seeing more feedback coming in with some concerns around people who expected season 21 to run, just to be clear, SLP would still continue to be available in version two regardless of whether the season starts or not. The only difference is because we're not going into the season, season 21 will not have an AXS reward based off your leaderboard placement. This means a couple of things, right? This means number one, that's it. It's a wrap folks. Competitive V2 is over. It is done. It is out the door, as we say. What do you think? How do you feel? Does this piss you off? Because you've been playing version two so long? and you're so attached to it? Or are you ready for the crits to be gone and you cannot wait to compete in Origin Season 1? Hopefully they can nix all the current problems with Origin and help the game become hyper competitive. Lots of competition, lots of tournaments, just like it was at the end of V2. What do you think? Is the extended off season just fine? That way the Sky Mavis team can focus on the origin development do you feel robbed because you wanted one last season one last hurrah to finally make it on the leaderboard or are you like me and it's like meh who very regularly stays around 13 to 1800 mmr depending on how they feel on the day and doesn't really care I, i'm in the boat of yeah whatever <laughs> you know like yeah, whatever. This does mean something very, very big, and I hope you stayed all the way this far in the video. If you did, leave a comment on what you think about what I'm about to say. The potential for earnings selling the NFT versions of the charms will be huge. People that are exceptionally lucky, like the people that pull the first edition Charizard, those types of people that play and mint using SLP earned in origin on the blockchain to create the NFT version of the charms and runes will make a killing. Getting the runes, as we can see, with the infinite moon shards glitch, people have been crafting all the way to level 100 and beyond and still have not gotten the runes and charms that they want. This could create an enormous opportunity for those willing to mint NFT versions of the charms and runes to put on the marketplace for sale. Huge opportunity. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay updated in everything Axie Infinity. I'll see you in the next video.